Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a mukbang. I don't know why either. I, I don't know why I'm doing this video as like a 100k special, but here we are. But it's not just any mukbang, it's a Tesco meal deal mukbang. However, so right, don't judge me for this. Viewers of this channel know that I'm a vegan. Those of you who don't know, well now you do know, hi, I'm a vegan. Yep, one of those people. <sighs> So Tesco has this range called Plant Chef and they do this hoisin mock meat duck wrap thing as part of the meal deal. Pretty banging. They didn't have any of that today. Falafel and hummus. Don't judge me for this meal deal. This isn't something I'd normally get. Falafel and hummus. It's not like I dislike falafel, but as a vegan, I've had enough falafel to last me for several vegan lifetimes. And also for the snack, don't judge me, this is not stuff I would normally get. 10 calorie jelly, didn't realise this was part of the meal deal. Yes, it's low energy, fat free and suitable for vegans. Didn't realise it was part of the meal deal, but would you know, it is. And I figured I'd get this because, I don't know, I didn't feel like eating crisps today. And for the drink, this is pretty bougie. Bolt from the blue, innocent juice thing it's blue because of the blue spirulina this is really nice <laughs> so that's today's video we are doing a muck bun if you do not enjoy watching people eat food then don't watch this video i didn't i used to hate that as well watching people eat food it used to make me so angry what's that thing mesophonia where you get really angry at noises i can't open this where you get really angry at noises like snoring or food chewing or whatever and i didn't like it but so yeah, I don't know why this is the video I'm doing today. I kind of said it for a joke, now I'm doing it, so. Mmm, tastes like falafel. I'm quite low energy today as well. I'm not sure why. I know I'm meant to be talking, but, and I had in my head a bunch of things to say. Mm. I don't really like the way the lighting is in this video. Imagine being a new subscriber and this is the 100k special. Me complaining. Kind of is the theme of my whole channel. I've got to rep Tesco's though. One of these days. Maybe at 200k, maybe at 1 million. I'm gonna get a Tesco sponsorship. Somehow it's gonna happen, I'm gonna do it. I would do it for free. This is actually really tasty. Well, this is nice, isn't it? Just like having a roast with your family on a Sunday. See that? That's how you eat food properly. Nicocado avocado could never. By the way, I started following Nicogado Avocado on Instagram. I don't know why either. It's wild. It's a trip. I might do a whole video on it. It's something else entirely. Mmm. Now let's move on to the jelly. I never eat jelly. Tastes like jelly. Tastes like sweeteners. Guess that's why it's 10 calories. That's Spartame. Well, guess I'm gonna die now. Anyway. A lot of mukbangers, mukbangers are just overly sexual. Have you noticed that? There's nothing sexual about eating jelly. No way. So I guess I'm not really making a big deal about the 100k thing because... <laughs> This is gonna sound horrible. To me, it's not really a big deal. <laughs> I'm not being ungrateful. I'm very grateful to everyone who follows me. It's not that. I would never want any level of success to get to my head because my head is already ginormous. It's already big enough to have its own gravitational pull. I don't want my ego inflating any more than it already is. So I would never want the numbers to get to me because I've seen that happen to some people over the years on a personal level. I've seen, hmm, 
some people act and think they're the shit because they've got a million followers or whatever. Not to downplay anyone's achievements, of course, because it's a lot. A million followers is a lot. A hundred thousand people. It's a lot of people. But at the same time, Jake Paul has about 18 million followers. Like, don't get it twisted. We are entertainers on this platform. I'm like a... What's he saying in Shaun of the Dead? I'm not a performing monkey. I am a performing monkey. That's, that's what I am. I'm just an entertainer, you know? And I've seen people let it get to them and start to seriously think they're the shit. My point is, my only point is, you might think you're the shit if you've got like 500,000 or a million or even 2 million, but someone as odious as Jake Paul has 18 million, so... I don't know. <laughs> that's just like, that's my warped way of trying to stay humble. I don't know if it's the right way to go about it, but it just makes sense to me. I think what I'm trying to say is one should keep perspective. Did my filler get in the way of me sucking up the jelly? Maybe I should do a mukbang at every 100,000. I wonder if I'm saying that right. Because it's not mukbang, no way. Mukbang. It's gotta be, right? Who am I talking to? You! I better not spill any of this on my makeup. There's a reason I haven't done my lipstick today. I've got to do about fucking five videos all in one go. Which is totally my fault for letting them all... Not pump up. Words, what? Build up pump up. My fault for letting all the videos build up until I have to do like five or six all in one go. It's weird. I just want to be fully honest with how I feel. There's, there's no point lying. There's no point living anything other than the truth. As soon as I hit 100k, I kind of went, oh that's cool, screenshotted it, sent it to like my best mates. And that lasted for all of five seconds and then I was like, oh, okay, what next? Well, 200k I guess. And that was it really. I don't think that's the healthiest thing, like mindset to have. I mean, yes, I suppose it is an achievement because a lot of people don't get to 100k. Some people don't get to 10,000 or whatever. So I guess it is an achievement, but anytime I do anything, because I feel really fucking old, I'm gonna get a comment from someone in their 30s or 40s being like, you're not old, you're young. And it's like, I know, I know age wise I'm young, but I just feel really old that's all i mean i feel like i should have been doing this at 18 and i could have done more with the past 10 years but that's my own hang-ups i suppose that's my own fault for doing <laughs> too many drugs so i think one youtube that is run the risk of being desensitized to this type of thing because you are looking at numbers on a screen but then I'll like read the top comments of my videos or if people send me emails or whatever, I'll read like the comments. That's the only way of really verifying that there's people behind the numbers. Whenever I look that way in videos, by the way, I'm just looking at my rats. I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud. None of this is entertaining or great. What a good 100k video. Do you know what I've been doing a lot of in lockdown besides staying in bed? Watching the US office. I've never seen it before because I'm really really arrogantly british right so i just naturally assumed us remakes gonna be crap it's gonna be no good look what they did to my boy the it crowd i'm addicted to the us office now it's so fucking good it's it's better than the uk version there i said it i'm so sorry but i don't think that's a very controversial thing to say because ricky gervais and Stephen merchant were still ex executive producers on the US office, so that's why it's so funny. British producers or something, I don't know, sorry American audience. But it's so good and I don't know if it's just like lockdown vibes or if I'm going a little bit crazy, but Michael Scott, I would love to work for someone like that in an office. It would be so fun. If I had a boss like that, I would spend the whole day flirting with him and never doing any work. It's perfect, it's brilliant. He's kind of like weirdly hot 
this is why I think the lockdown is getting to me because I've been watching a lot of the, the Office, thinking, yeah, well, he's kind of like he's a bit of a daddy, really. Isn't he? <laughs> Sorry, mum, if you watch this. My sister is currently watching the US Office as well, so I messaged her, being like, "Is it just me, or is Michael Scott a bit of a hottie?" And she was like, "It's just you. You're kind of weird." So that's that. I would recommend this. I'm kind of tired, so I hope this actually does give me some energy because I need to film a bunch of videos of this. I wonder if, can you recycle these? Widely recycled, I guess you can. Cool. I would, that, the falafel, oh, you know what falafel tastes like, right? The hoisin plant chef duck, duck wrap thingy. So good, so much better. It's whatever. It doesn't really matter they didn't have it today. The sun will rise tomorrow and all that. Anyway, that's all for this video. <laughs> I don't know what this video was. <laughs> I have a feeling it was really low energy. If this is like too low energy that it's not enjoyable, then I'm not uploading it. And I guess I'll see you guys at the 200k mukbang special. Me just eating pizza, probably. I just put on my lipstick and then I realised, my energy's here, hi, this is me from the future, I realised I missed out on the most important part of the video, which was to thank you guys for being my subscribers. Already, within an hour, I've become the entitled YouTubers, zzz, plural, all of them, all in, like, the essence of all of them, in one person. I became the entitlement of YouTubers that I swore to destroy. <laughs> Can't believe I did that whole mukbang and I neglected to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. You keep this channel going. You raise my spirits, all that nice stuff. Can't believe I didn't do that. How narcissistic and just self-absorbed is that? Do you know what it is? Is I think I got too into the mukbang element of that video and I kind of forgot the point of the video. I do that sometimes, my memory, I need like, I need, I need an auto cue up in the background here, but yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you to my subscribers and everyone of you who is watching for supporting this channel and putting up with my slight narcissistic tendencies and erratic behaviour. I must have sounded like an ungrateful little shit throughout all of that. And what I could do is I could just refilm the whole video, but no, you should see like the, the two sides of me. Just how on camera Elise and editing Elise are two entirely different personality types. You should see the range of my personality, I suppose, where sometimes, yeah, one does get a little self-absorbed. I was trying not to be, though. I was trying to be the opposite of it, downplaying a little bit, being like, oh, yeah, 100k, yes, yeah, yeah, it's all right, but let's be humble. Let's not let it get to our heads. Let's forget the most important part. The most important part of YouTube is the audience because without you guys, YouTubers, YouTubers' platform wouldn't exist. Really, when you think about it, I'm thanking myself because I am an audience member of YouTube as well. So this success is all thanks to me. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I've just perked up because that juice, all that sugar is finally, and the B12 or whatever is finally, because, well, thank God, it had B12 in it. That, that's why I didn't have energy before. Bloody vegans, B12 deficiency, just injected in my veins. <laughs> Maybe I should refilm the video because this is a much better move. However, Queuing to get into Tesco to get a meal deal. I don't fancy queuing for an hour. You'll have to contend with that self-absorbed drivel that I was just talking about for the first 10 minutes of this video, which, is this my first real scandal, I wonder? I apologize if I came across as ungrateful. I wasn't being ungrateful. I'm just trying to keep some perspective because yeah, I don't want to get uh, there's already so many things I'm arrogant about. I don't want to get big headed as soon as a little bit of fame and a tiny bit of power like Do you know what I mean? You know like how Dwight in the office he gets a little bit of power because Michael goes out for the day So he's like you're in charge. He already tries to fire everyone and he's crazy and he's like a, a, Is it called a type A psychopath something like that? I don't want to be like that. I want to be the opposite of that. I've seen too many people turn into arseholes. I'm an arsehole, just a different type of arsehole. I want to be an arsehole that keeps it real with you guys and entertains you. So yeah, if you enjoy my content, then do remember to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for 100k. Let's, let's do 200. Why not? At least before the year is out, let's go for it. Let's aim big at all that. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.